I know it looks like it looks like I'm not wearing makeup, but I am, and I look very different without makeup. I think I look sick, but my partner's like, you look the same. I think he's just he's just a gorgeous human. successful they don't really have family members or friends that believe in them but they have driven themselves through intrinsic motivation and incredible grit and I'm a little sucker who I have family and friends who believe in me but for some odd reason I'm not really on my own side I definitely struggle with a lot of self-doubt I was at the gym doing very low pilates when i like scroll on my phone on my lazy gym days which has been like all the time lately i came across this quote on pinterest it was beautiful and you got to be in your own side it's definitely running out <laughs> by the way yeah i've got sisters in skincare and makeup but i use drugstore makeup <laughs> interesting i think that's upside down isn't it hang on this is from benefit this is actually amazing my partner when we first started dating, he thought I was wearing fake lashes. He said I had really long lashes for an Asian, and I think that's when the power of mascara comes in. I find that with my lashes, because they are Asian, colors don't work on my eyelashes for some reason. But yeah, I was full on like telling you guys about my friends who don't have people who believe in them, and they've worked really hard because I believe in themselves. I just realized that I have so many incredible people who are supportive of me and believe in me, but I realized that I struggle to believe in myself. There we go, I look more human. And oh, by the way, my lips, they look really big, but they were actually really so sore. They're just really dry. I have never gotten a lip filler. Put a bit of liner on. Um, when I was younger, I thought that having thick lips was embarrassing. And so, I'd always make my lips like this. I know, it looks stupid, but in photos and things like that, like school photos, I try to make it seem like I don't have lips because oh I'm like messing this up because when I was younger having thick lips was not trendy at all funny how beauty and fashion trends always change and to base our self-worth on what the trend is is not worth it because right now my lips are really hurting which is why they're bloated but I know people might want lips like this which each to their own thanks for getting ready with me <laughs> it's actually like 3 p.m. so um, I should have probably done this video a little while ago but I thought I would take care of myself as I do a bit of real chat which was distracted by my ADHD inability to focus on one thing self-diagnosed <laughs> yeah today I was having quite a bit of a slow day I was having a difficult day today, just processing some hard news that yeah, it's really affected every aspect of my life, including my motivation and my mood. I'm not going to use it as an excuse to sloth around, but I have been taking things a lot slower. I've been taking myself on little walks and understanding that I don't have to be 110% productive. 
I do have the most amazing VA, which is short for virtual assistant, who is helping me out with a lot of the heavy lifting and I'm so grateful. And I did have a really slow gym session today and I filmed a little get ready with me video and doing little things like that. It's bringing me back to homeostasis, like back to a stage where I feel level headed and yeah, like I'm not gonna say I feel like that because I don't. It's just bringing me back to this place where I feel just level. Yeah, I just thought I'd hop on here to normalize the fact that it's so normal. <laughs> using the word normal twice in a sentence. It is so human to have bad days and I think part of growing up and the hard thing about life is we're always going to have to deal with uncertainty and difficult news and also attend celebration events and hear amazing news at the same time and navigating such complex and polarizing emotions can feel weird and awkward that is a part of the beauty of life and I want to share that here with you guys because it's something that I'm personally learning right now and I'm feeling the grunt of it. I was on the phone with my dad who was telling me, look Chloe, like you got to be confident in yourself. And just on the weekend I saw my uncles who, I don't know why they, they both think I'm going to be a millionaire. Like I'm not hungry for money i've never been about money but like the moral of the story is that i think they see something in me that i can't see in myself and i think a lot of the emotional pain that i feel comes from my inability to back myself i am confident in who i am but at the same time i really struggle with self-doubt and that comes out in other ways it's something that i'm working on As humans, we're often going to feel two emotions at the same time, whether it's feeling lonely and connected at the same time or feeling joy and pain at the same time. And I wanted to ask, have you ever felt like confident in who you are, but are also still struggling with self-doubt? Or have you ever had to grieve about something, but also felt a lot of momentum and you were moving forward? You know, they say that you can choose the pain of growing or the pain of staying the same and I'm definitely feeling the pain of growing. And God, it's like, get me out of here. But no, like, this is exactly where I need to be. If you can empathize with that, let me know in the comments below. If you're having a good day, enjoy your day. If you're having a hard day, know that you're not alone. I hope you take care of yourself today and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video.